Good morning and welcome to Money Wisdom sponsored by Johnson Brunetti. I'm Natasha Lubchenko. We're teaching you smart ways to manage your money and here with expert advice is Eric Hogarth, certified financial planner and Johnson Brunetti partner. Eric, thanks so much for being here. Of course. Good morning. So today, you know, no matter what age we are, there are certain financial terms and concepts we should all know. So let's dive in. We're calling it a Finance 101 for Perfect. any age. So we'll talk about it. first one, budgeting. You say it's important to pay yourself first. Mm -hmm. Pay yourself first is you need, to, you need to invest money. Now, investing money does not mean you have to put it in the stock market. And what if I lose it? And am I going to pay fees? And you just have to save some money. So you have it for an emergency and ultimately for the future. So pay yourself first. Warren Buffett always has it. Save money before you spend money. The buckets, right? Your saving bucket, yes. then you can invest. Yes. I'm learning here. Okay, and yes. next one you say 50, 30, 20 rule for budgeting. 50% when you're looking at a budget, what are we gonna spend every month? Because it's easy for us all to say like, I don't have any extra money because if you don't have a budget, you probably won't. 50% is what you allot to these are needs, keeping the lights on. 30% are wants, I wanna do this, and 20% is saving for the future or paying off debt. For the record, I don't really like those ratios, but it's good <laughs> to think of things that way because debt might be the thing that you hit first if it's right. bad debt. Pretty Sounds like a pretty manageable ratio and you can always adjust, I'm sure, going yeah. forward. Now let's move on to debt, yeah. uh, secured versus unsecured. What should we know? So when you get a mortgage, right, and you're buying a house and it's that mortgage is what's called secured debt because it's collateralized against the value of your house. If you default on your loan, they take your house. Right? An unsecured loan is when you have no collateral, so the interest rate is going to be higher. For the most part, unsecured loans are not, I don't want to say they're not good, but they're less good. So people say, well, what's good debt and what's bad debt? Have a conversation about it. Educate yourself on maybe that's where you should be putting your money instead of saving for the future. All right. And on the topic of debt, also revolving versus non-revolving. What about that? Easier said than done. I've been in phases of my life when my wife and I were younger and it seemed like everything in our house broke at the same time and now and we got married and have this debt and it's not going away and it gets bigger. Credit card debt is bad and, and like I said I've had it but you have to figure out a plan for how to get rid of it and if it's like well I'm making extra payments but if you're making extra payments every month and you are charging every month you're spinning your wheels in the mud and you know we're trying to save money you got this giant hole in the bottom of your savings bucket which is your debt you have to fix that first and there's ways to fix it debt consolidation getting some good advice got to address that first because it will not fix itself and well and that leads us you know to our next point here which is credit anything else we should know on this topic you have to have good credit there will come a point in life where you will need it you know I remember when my parents kicked me off my blockbuster their blockbuster video card when I was 18 <laughs> years old and I forgot I returned it to the wrong one people don't even know what blockbuster is but because it was going to negatively impact their credit you need to protect your credit you need to develop credit because you will need it in the future and part of that I'm sure is whittling down the, the credit cards that you have right yeah and get some <laughs> advice on it there's things you can do all right next up let's talk about investing Eric what should we know here and you know you hope not to work forever like you know and it's about the balance of life right because you also you also have to live for today you can't hope worst case scenario and everything and I'm gonna save everything and then life goes sideways you get sick you die not to be more and you never got to do anything so yes you need to figure out what the balance is but you will need this money in the future and if you haven't saved money and you have an emergency like your washer and dryer broke you're gonna create debt to fix that and you don't want to do that all right, and then finally, taxes. We all have to deal with them. What do yeah. we need to know? I mean, it's an easy thing for us all to say, like, oh, we pay so much money in taxes, because we do. And I love Connecticut, and I'm from here, but we do. But that doesn't mean you can't improve it, and you have to look at what are you doing with those taxes. Could you save money? Because I bet you probably could. All right, yeah. all great tips so far. You do have an offer where we can learn even more about this topic, financial yes. terms. Tell us about it. It's Finance 101. It's a glossary of financial terms. Like, read it, because... If, if, if I'm sitting with someone or ask, like, so, so how many of you know how debt works? And everyone's like, yeah, 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 I do. Because, like, who's going to say, like, I'm not really sure how that works? So educate yourself. Get this thing. You can get it at moneywisdomtv.com. It's totally free because it's your money. It's most important to you. So put in some time to understand are you making mistakes and ask for help if you need some help. So important. I feel like half the time some of these terms we don't even learn in school. So... Now is a good time to learn. Eric Hogarth, Johnson Brunetti, thank you. And of course, if you want to learn more, you can go to moneywisdomtv.com. For CT Style, I'm Natasha Lubchenko. We'll see you next time.